this is the HP ProDesk 400 G3 mini desktop. In this video, I would show how to replace the BIOS battery and also how to replace or change your hard drive. This is the unit. The front of the unit has two USB ports, two headphone jack ports. One is a headphone, the other one is headphone and mic, and your power button. <clears throat> At the back of the unit, this is the Wi Fi port. It also use Wi Fi and hardwire. This is the internet port. So you could either hardwire it or just plug and set up the Wi Fi. This here is the serial port. This is the display port. This is the VGA port. You have four USB ports here and a power in port. This is to connect your power supply. This is what the power supply looks like. Just like a laptop power supply. The power supply is 65 watts. The input current is 110 to 240 at 16 amps. The output is 19.5 at 3.33 amps. To get into this unit this is the access panel and it has a thumb screw just one screw hole in it to simply turn the thumb screw it will come out but it won't come out all the way you then hold the unit in your hand and you push gently it won't go forward all the way so you would uh, just play with it and remove the cover the CMOS battery is underneath the hard drive and the hard drive casing to get to the battery first you would have to remove the hard drive you would simply lift this tab it would bring the hard drive forward and you will pick up gently you place the hard drive on the side to get to the CMOS now, there are one, two, three screws that you would have to remove. The other screw is right here. Some 
of the units have only two screws. which is only at the front then you would lift the housing the hard drive housing don't pull on it because it's connected right here so you would lift gently and tilt backwards This is the CMOS battery. This is the Wi Fi card. This is the slot for the SSD, where the SSD will go in to. To remove the battery, you need something plastic because there is a connection it's too dark there is a connection right here if you use a screwdriver to try to pry out the battery you would short it out because it will make contact so you would just This is it. The battery is out. You see the way this is here? If you put something on and if here, which means you would make contact with the negative and the positive. This is the way it is. This is the positive, which is the plus. This is the negative. The negative sits on that. So if you try to push something in there, you would be touching this at the top, which would cause a short. To replace your battery, you put the back in. Just remember the polarity, the way you took it out, and you press gently and it's in then you make sure the ribbon is in the groove and you place the hard drive holes in back on make sure it's seated properly and you put your screws in. Then I'll tighten. Then you will take your hard drive. 
place it there's these four screws and there are four slots here you make sure you place it and it enters then you move the lever forward a bit you push the hard drive slightly you would feel the lever coming down you drop and you close and it's secure before you do anything just check your ribbon make sure that the ribbon is still connected here and this is how you change your battery your hard drive and the CMOS battery if the CMOS battery is bad this is how you would change that yes remember the polarity it has a plus and minus you can change your your hard drive now not all the units that are the same they would look alike but then you would have some of them you have more access to the batteries instead of taking out the hard drive you could just click and the battery would come out to change if for some reason as i have it open i will just go ahead to change your memory or to add more memory there is a tab right here there is a tab here and there are two clips here you just lift up the fan wiggle it forward take it out don't pull on it too much to burst the wires and this is the memory stick on the stick there are two clips one here and the other one here you just move them and the memory stick would come out now something i forget to mention before entering or holding memory sticks always discharge static from your body then you would hold the stick on either side and just give it a little wiggle this is the memory stick to replace the memory stick you would look at the groove here and the groove here it's separated just like the stick is and you would put it in you'd push in gently make sure it goes in you would feel it's in that's why it rise like that and you just press down until you hear the click then you would put your fan back this is it and you press gently the fan is in then you would take your cover place it over the unit and push gently and put your thumb screw this is how you'd go about changing your CMOS battery the hard drive and your memory stick if you have an S SSD card and you need to replace it you could also do that also this is it for this video 
If you find it was informative, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Goodbye. See you in the next one.